All right, so for this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 8 to the power of x plus 9 is equal to 9 to the power of x plus 8. So I'm going to be solving for x in this equation, as that is the only variable. And now for my solution. I'm going to start by rewriting my equation down here so I have more solving space. So my equation is 8 to the power of x plus 9 is equal to 9 to the power of x plus 8. Now from here, I'm going to be using the property of exponents that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have 8 to the power of x plus 9. And I can rewrite this as 8 to the power of x times 8 to the power of 9. And this is equal to 9 to the power of x plus 8, which I can also rewrite as 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of 8. Now from here, I'm going to divide both sides by 9 to the power of x. So then for my right hand side, these two cancel out and I get 8 to the power of x times 8 to the power of 9 over 9 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of 8. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 8 to the power of 9. So then these two cancel out and I get 8 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 9 to the power of 8 over 8 to the power of 9. Now from here, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to log of 9 to the power of 8 over 8 to the power of 9. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log a to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is going to equal log of a to the power of x minus log of 9 to the power of x. And I can use the same property of log 9 to the power of 8 over 8 to the power of 9 to make it equal to log 9 to the power of 8 minus log 8 to the power of 9. Now, another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is the same thing as b times log a. In this case, I can use this property for all my terms over here. So to start log a to the power of x, I can move this to the front, and I get x times log a. Now I have this minus log 9 to the power of x, I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 9. And this is equal to log 9 to the power of 8 move 8 to the front so I get 8 times log 9 minus log 8 to the power of 9 I can move 9 to the front so I get 9 times log 8 now because both of these terms have x in them I can simply factor out x so I get x times log 8 minus log 9 is equal to 8 times log 9 minus 9 times log 8. Now, we obviously want to find the value of x, and the only way to do that is to get rid of this log 8 minus log 9 by dividing both sides by log 8 minus log 9. So then these two cancel out, 
and I get x is equal to 8 times log 9 minus 9 times log 8 over log 8 minus log 9. Now, log of 9, we can simplify this to log of 3 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front. So I can move 2 to the front, and this is going to equal 2 times log 3. Now I can do the same thing for log 8. Log 8 is equal to log of 2 to the power of 3, and I can move 3 to the front. So I get this equal to 3 times log 2. So now from here, I get x is equal to 8 times 2 log 3 minus 9 times 3 log 2. And I have this all over. 3 log 2 minus 2 log 3. Now 8 times 2 is 16, so I get x equals 16 times log 3 minus 27 times log 2 over 3 log 2 minus 2 log 3. And all of this is equal to 9.6548. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 9. So I want to find the answer to this problem. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 2 to the power of 20 as 2 to the power of 10 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. And now I have this minus 9, which is the same thing as 3 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 10, and b is 3. So I get 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. Now, 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1024. So I get 1024 plus 3 times 1024 minus 3. And this is equal to 1,027 times 1,021. Now, we can obviously multiply this like in this form, but there is a simpler way to multiply these two numbers. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this as 1,000 plus 27 times 1,000 minus 21. Or sorry, 1,000 plus 21. And now... This way, I can distribute. So 1,000 times 1,000 is 1,000 squared plus 21 times 1,000 plus, now I'm going to distribute to 27. So I get 27 times 1,000 plus 27 times 21. Now, 1,000 squared that's equal to 1 million plus 21 times 1,000 is 21,000 plus 27 times 1,000 is 27,000 plus 27 times 21 is 567. Now, I'm going to add all these up. So 21 plus 21,000 plus 27,000 is 48,000. So I have that plus 567, which is equal to 1 million 
48,567.